Outrocast. Hey, Janet, can you hear me okay? Yep, can you hear me? Great, I can hear you. Am I getting you from Singapore? No, I'm actually at home. Um, I the it was pre-recorded, so I'm back in Hermosa Beach. Oh, okay, great. Just three hours behind. Uh, how's your night going? <laughs> Everything's good there. Yeah, just busy work stuff. You no, know, the typical typical work life, work training life. <laughs> exactly. Uh, engineer background. Uh, I don't think I've. I've encountered anyone else that's an engineer in the MMA or Muay Thai world. Have you encountered anyone else? Um, I, I think so. Um, well, I mean, I, I've seen them on the internet. I, I don't know them personally. I think there was a USC fighter that might've been an engineer. And I know there's a an Invicta champ um, who, who used to be an engineer or some, maybe she was biomedical or something like that, but. Yeah, there, there's been some in the past. You never know where the engineers are going to pop up. Like there was an SNL, a Saturday Night Live performer, Brooks Whelan, who was on for a season or two, you know, doing sketch comedy. And he was a biomedical engineer who left that field to do SNL. So you, I, I guess you should never be surprised in an MMA or entertainment world. But uh, one championship is coming to TNT in just a few weeks. When did you mm -hmm. first find out about that? Uh... I don't remember. It has to have been a couple of weeks ago because they, they posted about it or they had an article about it. So, I mean, they did it, they did it last or was it last year or the year, year before? Oh, it was the year before. They did the, the Japan fight on TNT, the Century, Century show. Right. So. Right. It's a really big deal because they have the lead in from uh, AEW wrestling right before that, which means it's going to be an even bigger audience. But I don't think everyone realizes that one championship is the biggest MMA related company in the world. Now for somebody like you, training is training per se, but does it factor in at all being on big TV like that to how you train? No, no. Training still training. It doesn't matter if it's, you know, a, a small stadium or just uh, a local promotion versus one championship. Training's, training's the same. I mean, you can't just change your training just because you got onto a big show. You got there because of the training that you did before. So yeah, I, I still treat it the same, whether it's a small local show or a, a big TV show. And are you training any differently for this particular fight? In other words, are you the kind of person who looks at all the tape or is that more your team's responsibility to look at all the tape and tell you how to train? Um, I, I do look at it, um, but I've in the past looked at it too much where uh, if something didn't look exactly how it did on the tape, it threw me off. So I look at it just enough to kind of understand the tendencies. And then I let my coach kind of really do a lot of the studying to, to formulate like a, a solid game plan. And, you know, I kind of help build it as well based on what I've, what I've seen, mm -hmm. but yeah, my coach is essentially the mastermind behind everything. Mm. Obviously a trusting relationship there. When you have a big fight like this, do you know anything that's planned afterwards or does winning this fight then determine what you do after this? You mean, do I have like a, a goal in mind before I go into like who I want to fight after the fight. <laughs> okay. Well, let me give you an example. If you're say a dentist, you like, you know, Hey, tomorrow here are my appointments. The next day here are my appointments. And the next day MMA is or Muay Thai, totally different perspective. So as an outsider, I have no idea if you yourself know, well, this is my six months after this fight, no matter what, or if everything is determined on this fight for your future plans. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit unpredictable. Um, you don't know when your next fight's going to be unless they literally scheduled it before your current fight. Um, so I, I wouldn't say there as there's pre-planning before winning the fight, if that makes sense. Um, you plan for the fight ahead of you. And then if you get offered a, a fight right after, then you plan for that one. So it's good. 
but it doesn't mean that I stopped training just because mm -hmm. my fight's mm -hmm. over, right? Because I need, there's definitely things that I need to improve upon based on how I performed in that fight, whether I won or not. And then there's things that I want to prove upon, you know, based on things I've seen other athletes do that I'm like, oh, that's, that's kind of a cool concept, but let me see if I can try to incorporate that into my training. So there's uh, some of that going on, if that makes sense. That answers your question. <laughs> it makes sense. It answers my question. You also sometimes don't know if the person says, I'm going to do this fight and then I'm jumping into an acting gig right after this because hey while i am a fighter the long-term goal is to be in acting or entertainment and all that i i can't tell <laughs> if your goal you know is to jump into that because you you have charisma but some people go no nope, no nope, not an actor i'm a fighter yeah definitely not an actor if i had to remember or rehearse lines i would probably break out laughing I, i'm terrible definitely not <laughs> not in the books for me <laughs> And then you mentioned before you, you're still training when you don't have a fight per se. Uh, so year round you're training, which is wonderful to hear. Do you have to diet year round or do you get to take time off after the fight for a little bit on that? I'm generally really good about my diet. Um, obviously leading up to the fight, I'm a little bit more strict in you know, what I choose to cheat on. Um, but for the most part, I, my body's <laughs> so used to a healthy diet when I, you know, when I cheat for, you know, three days straight, I'm, I'm like, oh man, I need my green smoothie. <laughs> I need my body back. So I don't know. It's become kind of a lifestyle to be healthy, but of course, you know, I'll, I'll cheat on the weekends. <laughs> Fair assessment. Well, three more quick questions and then you're free. And the first one is what music do you usually train to? <laughs> So I, I actually walk out to Britney Spears and, and we have a Pandora, obviously we listen to Pandora at the gym. Sure. We have a Britney Spears station. We have a Spice Girls station. And, you know, we also go to the Michael Jackson station too. So those are sort of like my genres. <laughs> you said Hermosa Beach and one of my favorite bands ever, a punk band called The Descendants. The roots of that band is Hermosa Beach. <laughs> So I didn't know if I was going to get a really obscure punk rock reference or. No, or no, I know. I, I know it's a shame. And, and Pennywise came from here too. So. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Okay. So there's a secret punk background we don't have to get into. Uh, my, my coach, my coach though, Brian Popejoy, he, he, he knows the punk bands. I know the pop bands. <laughs> I've, cool. I've changed, I've changed his style of music over time. <laughs> Eating in the middle. Um, <laughs> we know right now there's not a lot of free time for you between working and training and doing press and all that, but do you have a TV show recommendation you could pass along to somebody who just needs a new show to start? Oh my God. Uh, what did I watch? Oh, oh, we watched uh, WandaVision. My husband and I finished off WandaVision in like a weekend. We celebrated our anniversary and watched a lot of shit. <laughs> um, yeah, but you have to get past like the first three episodes because I, I was so confused the first two episodes. But it all starts making <laughs> it all starts making sense. <laughs> Every show you have to give the three episode rule. You have to make that kind of commitment because you have to learn the the universe and all that. So that there's nothing new there, right? <laughs> Sometimes I mean some shows you can you, you get right into it. I think. But this one, yeah, took a couple episodes. There you go. And my closer, this can be as long of an answer, as short of an answer, and include as much self-promotion, including go to my Instagram as you want. And that's Janet, any last words for the kids? <laughs> any last words for the kids? Um, oh, man. Well, if you're just starting out in the sport, uh, nothing comes easy. So don't give up, keep trying and you'll keep getting better. I was never a natural at it. And I had to literally put in so much time and repetition before I got even decent at something, <laughs> but that's, I think that's part of the fun of it to see yourself develop and grow. Um, uh, what else, what else can I say? Um, always trust your team. Uh, I have such a great team with me. I have, you know, Jackie Buntan, 
who just had her her debut. Did you watch her fight? I didn't get to see that one, but now that I know that I have to, uh, that's going to be one of the things I do tonight. Yeah, she she fought Wonder Girl a couple weeks ago. It had an amazing debut. Um, but yeah, I just I just want to thank everybody on on my team and my sponsors who actually got me to the where I am because it's obviously not just my self promotion that got me where I am. It's it's <laughs> my coaches who got <laughs> who raised my skills and my teammates, and then there's also you know game ready with my you know strength and conditioning. Make sure to check out their page because they've always have some very innovative ways of increasing your fitness, your agility, your balance. Um, but also, uh, Jeff Dohio, he's photographed and sort of, um, documented my trainings before he has some very awesome is- images, same with, uh, Victor Alvarez. Um, and then I have Lou who's, uh, essentially, uh, developing or, you know, providing me with healthy meals every day. So, and obviously in fight style, if you need gear, that's where you, you got to go. That's where I use, you know, that's where I get my shin, uh, shin guards, my, my boxing gloves and everything. They have, they have the best gear. So it takes a village, uh, in other words, and that village is keeping you going. So really looking forward to everything that's coming from you soon, Janet. Really appreciate your time. Yeah, of course. Outro cast.